Hello guys, welcome to Scout to Dry. My name is Manuel and I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to paint a landscape, okay, um in Photoshop from memory. Now this is something that I'm not an expert on simply because I have I don't really have a lot of experience on it, okay, uh painting in Photoshop. Um I've made one um kind of landscape illustration. Um, in my Kimi no Nawa or your name illustration for those of you who haven't watched it I will leave a link to um, to the video in the description but oh my I worked really hard um, in that illustration and um, to be honest uh, I do have a kind of a, a bit of experience okay um, in terms of you know landscape paintings but I'm not a I'm not an expert like at all I really don't know anything about um, Photoshop or or painting in general, but it, but it's something that I want to work on, okay? And to be honest, in that um, illustration, it was easier simply because uh, you know I was working from a reference, so it's a little bit easier to actually you know um, paint the whole thing because you know you're seeing um, what you're painting. But you know to come to make uh, um, you know a landscape from memory is a little bit more challenging. So it's something that I want to work on. So. Um, this is my first time like actually making um, a landscape illustration um, from memory okay and I, and I thought I'd start off with something simple okay so, you know a simple um, sunny day okay with um, clouds um, I thought that was a pretty uh, a simple enough um, you know landscape to start off with uh, you know since we are in winter you know coming up with a summer you know sunny day is actually really you know it's all I'm thinking about right now you know it's actually very satisfying you know to just imagine you know a sunny day with fields and breeze and you know uh, so I thought I thought I would start off with you know kind of a sunny day um I didn't really put a lot of time into this one simply because you know this is probably like my first um, you know illustration landscape uh, painting so I didn't want to you know make something super detailed but I'm definitely gonna work towards making you know more detailed illustrations um, in the future okay um, one thing that you might notice about this Photoshop is that it's in Spanish okay um, it's not intentional I actually like downloaded the Photoshop in Spanish and couldn't um, change the language so I'm kind of stuck with the, with Spanish um, this is especially more frustrating for those of you who are trying to see what I'm doing but can't actually understand um, but to be honest I there's nothing I can do about the language I'll try to change it uh, in the future but for now this is the you know the language that I have um, but personally you know um, Spanish is my second language so um, I don't have a problem with it it's more for those of you who are trying to uh, you know see what I'm doing but can actually understand it okay so the first tip that I will give you guys um, to start off okay um, you know making a landscape from memory would be to pretty much first sketch out the idea or to have a clear idea well it doesn't have to be super clear but at least sketch out a bit um the, the the landscape that you want to make because um trust me it's a lot easier to have at least even a vague even if it's a vague idea in mind um before you know starting to to make the whole um painting you know um i've actually tried to do it you know with, without sketching out and trust me it, it didn't work and i couldn't do anything so i would advise you to pretty much um sketch out a little bit even if it's a little bit the the idea and then you know go right ahead and start painting what you have um, what you have in mind and another tip that I would give you to to um, make any landscape um, would be to not use a really hard brush okay um, especially for the clouds I'll I'll definitely make a cloud tutorial in the future now if you want to change the brush softness what you want to do is right click um, okay first um, press alt and then you know right click um, on the mouse or uh, you know uh, on the tablet or whatever uh, right click and then drag up and down okay now that changes the brush softness but if you want to change the the brush um, you know um, size uh, what you want to do is instead of dragging it up and down what you want to do is drag it left and right okay now that is uh, you know that's probably like the most important um, tip okay or most important thing to know whenever you want to you, you know um, paint or draw anything digitally is to know how to change the brush uh, but uh, I, I'm not gonna go a lot of detail into Photoshop tips um, if you want me to make uh, a Photoshop tutorial let me know okay or you know you can just um, you know search uh, online because there are a lot of you know really good tutorials uh, out there um, on YouTube so definitely go check them out um, 
but yeah this this illustration was um i didn't put a lot of you know work into this illustration this took me like like one to two hours okay not a lot of time is put into this uh illustration i'll definitely work my way you know towards making more detailed um illustrations but um i thought i would start off with something simple okay one tip that would uh, one tip that I would give you would be to you know check out references you know shower your brain with references you know sunny day clouds you know grass you know just make your you know fill your head with references before getting into your illustration because that that'll make it a little bit easier to you know imagine and actually know how things work okay and to be honest I think to be honest I think it's easier to to actually you know painted because you know how things work and you're not making it you know something completely out of memory because you can't i mean some a normal brain doesn't really really remember how clouds are and stuff like that so i would recommend check out references and then you know work on your painting now sorry about this giant cursor on the screen this giant circle in the middle of the screen it's actually something that i can't avoid it's, some, it's almost like a like a bug okay whenever i you know record um my screen you know it, it kind of freezes sometimes freezes my cursor and then puts it right on the screen it's really annoying i'm definitely gonna get a better way of recording my screen but i don't know why sometimes that's what it does and i can't control how long it's there or how big it is it just picks a specific moment and then just sticks it there and then it stays there until i don't know when but uh yeah i really want to apologize for that um it, it, it appears in pretty much all my um digital um videos okay whenever i draw digital digitally um uh, it, it appears all the time and it's something that i want to um try to stop um, but for now this is uh, i'm sorry about that um but yeah as you can see here i'm pretty much drawing the the leaves of the you know the the foreground um they're really dark okay um one thing that i didn't mention is that this um you know this kind of way of making the landscape is really inspired by um makoto shinkai's um way of making landscape okay the creator of your name because i really love the way that he makes you know really breathtaking uh, landscapes it really inspired me to start making my own you know kind of um backgrounds okay and stuff and to be honest i i i want to i want to start making you know kind of because he, what uh, i didn't mention that you know the landscape that he makes are from memory and that's what's kind of you know makes uh, makes it super cool is that you know the landscape that he makes um are you know from memory and stuff and it's something that i i really like personally it's not something that i can achieve um very easily okay um so i want to practice okay i want to i want to practice a lot you know this is my first um try at making a background from memory and hopefully someday i will reach the level of makoto shinkai uh one of the best landscape um painters anime painters uh that i know to be honest um but yeah let me know what you guys think okay and to be honest the clouds were a little bit difficult okay uh to make uh i was uh, as you can notice i was kind of correcting it front you know back and forth uh, all the time and it, i it really didn't convince me to be honest and i really kind of worked uh, put a lot of work mostly in the clouds simply because you know it's, it's what what contains the most in the whole drawing uh and for this part here um i tried to make a highlight uh, you know kind of the glow of the sun that is coming from the left side of the of the of the drawing uh top left and as you might notice i i had a really hard time <laughs> making this um i had a, an idea in mind okay i knew what i wanted to do i knew how to make it but um you know since i haven't done before i really didn't know how to do it um what i did is i you know kind of made kind of like um a couple lines okay really tiny strokes and then you know redid the size of it okay kind of stretched it out a bit and then reduced the opacity um of the whole thing making it you kind of you know kind of this transparent glowy thing um you know kind of cool um way of making it and to be honest i i really didn't know how to make it i just know like uh you know i just had the idea of of making it in mind um but i wasn't exactly sure how i wanted it to look so i was kind of experimenting and you know kind of erased and added and stuff like that 
um but yeah let me know if you what what you guys think about this illustration okay um let me know if you enjoyed this video uh, I'll, I'll definitely i definitely plan on making uh, more illustrations okay in the future definitely more detailed backgrounds this is kind of a starter okay like i'm starting out um i wanna you know i i i, I didn't plan to make anything super complicated um but yeah i to be honest i, I was actually surprised um in, you know of the result of this painting i i didn't think that i could uh make something so 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 pretty like this to be honest um, but it's, it, to be honest, it's not perfect, okay, it's not perfect, it's far from perfect, it's really simple, um, but I kind of surprised myself, because, you know, I, I, I'm not used to this, I kind of, you know, stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit, so, um, it, I, I'm actually a little bit proud of myself, and for the last thing, I, a lot of people might be wondering, like, how did I do the, you know, that kind of, um, fade effect of the glowy thing, I kind of made the bra, the, the, the eraser super big, like, super giant, and then, kind of faded it a little bit okay and that's how i made that kind of um dissolved look for for the um for the glow okay for those of you who are wondering um but yeah sorry i couldn't go a lot of you know into a lot of detail um in this um tutorial um that, let me know if you want me to make uh, a photoshop tutorial but to be honest i i really don't think i know you know enough to make a photoshop tutorial um but I'll, i definitely will make one um in the future okay and uh, let me know what you guys think about this this illustration okay did you guys like it if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up and uh, thank you all for liking commenting sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye